Okay, so our tow truck brought us a tow truck. This is a Tootsie Toy tow truck. Uh, not very old, from the mid 60s most likely. Uh, they made a lot of these. You can find these really commonly. Not hard to find at all. Nothing special about this, really. Uh, uh, I want to restore it. And we might may add a few embellishments like the lights and the tail lights and stuff, but we're not going to go super crazy with this guy. Uh, the only thing that needs a lot of work is he has a flat tire. Let's see if we can show you here. Look at that. Totally worn flat. So I'm going to have to replace that tire. And that means replacing this entire axle. I uh, found a group online, a Facebook group of Tootsie Toy Collectors. And one of the guys there told me about how to replace axles without joining them in the middle, just replacing them completely so it looks, you can't tell the difference. And that is what we're going to attempt. That's the big thing we're going to attempt. But we're also going to paint it up and we've got a couple extra little things that we'll do to this guy. My plan is to make this my wrecker to replace this guy for our little our little cars. This guy will do it still with the Hot Wheels and the Matchbox. This guy will do our little Tootsie Toys. So, first thing to do is to cut off this axle. And that's what I'm going to do next. Now, I've learned from experience that that axle is going to be hot. So I don't want to touch it. We can pull it out this way. There go. There's one, and there's our bad one. So next, how this is going to work, if I understand the process right, and I've never done this before, is that instead of trying to widening this gap, that pinching area there, I'm going to use a needle file and file this hole a little bit bigger. And that should allow me to push the new axle on. Like I said, I haven't tried this before, but uh, it's going to be fun. See, I think that will probably do it. Yep, I got them both. One thing to be careful of that I messed up on this one, but I was able to fix it. Uh, don't put your needle file in a drill. I thought, oh, this is taking forever. Oh, this is so boring. I'll put it in a drill and just zoop, do it. Well, it did zoop, just do it, but it was like butter and just went way too big. And I had to actually pinch these back a little bit. So definitely do this by hand. It takes a little bit longer, but it is the much safer route. Okay, now it would be silly for me to install this axle right now uh, because I'm going to want to paint this anyway. And ideally I would take these off. It's another thing that one of the guys in the group said just to mask off the wheels and paint it. I'm gonna try that. I don't know if I'm gonna wanna do that every time because um, it just, it seems kind of awkward, but um, I'm going to give it a try this time. I'm going to try some new stuff. The only thing I'm really concerned about is when I put this into the stripper, is that going to eat away these wheels? So if that happens, I'll just replace these back ones too. So not a huge deal. So let's strip this guy off. Okay, if you watch my videos very often, you'll know that I've been looking for a stripper that was less toxic. So I'm going to try this one. I have a feeling it might be like way less toxic and not work nearly, nearly as well. But we're going to find out. So I've got pickle jar that puts them in it and we're gonna drop this guy down here from what I'm reading this takes closer instead of 10 minutes like the other one this one might take closer to an hour but uh we'll see so goodbye have a good time bloop 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 <laughs> that's, that's kind of cool <laughs> all right it has been an hour so let's see if I can fish this guy out it's thick stuff for sure. Oh yeah, this worked. Just fine. At least on this one. It worked great. And it does not appear to have affected the wheels either. So let's just 
one all the way around, doesn't it? Well, that citrus strip, ugh. that citrus strip did uh, a lot better than I was expecting. Left it in for an hour, which is longer than I normally would, but uh, it worked pretty well. Still some spots deep down there where the, I guess the paint was thicker. I tried to get it out with a pick, but it just wouldn't work. Uh, it's not gonna matter when I paint it. It's not gonna show up. This casting is impressive. Um, it's a lot nicer than what a uh, modern day Hot Wheels or Matchbox is. Lots of detail. Even look at look down there at the bed. It's got the detail in there, and a little winch in the front. This is a nice. This is a nice casting. They knew how to do it back then. Okay, well, I guess the next thing for me to do is to mask off these wheels and to paint it. I'm not sold on masking off the wheels. Uh, it seems like I don't know if I'm going to get as good of a result with that. I know that's how most people who work on Tootsie Toys do it, but I don't know if that's how I want to do it. So, we'll see. Doop, 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 doop. Whatever it is, it's going to look good. Doop, 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 doop. The color I'm going to use is Stoplight Amber. It's a tester's color. It's got a like a metallic fleck to it. Never used it before. I actually mixed up kind of weird. So we'll see. If I don't like it, I'll just paint over it. Okay, the paint job turned out pretty good. I ended up putting a uh, base coat of an orange that I mixed up and then put the amber uh, metal fleck on top of that because I was just having trouble with all the... The amber paint was transparent and the, uh, the problems with the casting was showing through. So it really needed to be primed. I'll know for next time. Masking the wheels worked uh, well enough. In fact, I can understand totally why someone would do it. Really, if you're going to paint one of these, your options are to mask off the wheels, to cut the axles and rejoin them later, or to use a donor axle, like I'm doing right here. And uh, you know, each has their benefits and when you need to use them. But if you could do it without cutting the axle and without needing a donor, um, then that's definitely going to be your best bet, because they don't really make these anymore so but I like I said I've got tons of these little Tootsie toys so finding a spare really isn't a big deal for me but really the paint job is not the whole point of this the big thing is this axles so we had talked about before how I was just gonna place this through and uh, how it works is these wheels on these Tootsie toys Let's see if I can Good to focus in on here. You can just pull them off. We slide this guy in. And this one just pops right back on. There we go. And that looks exactly the same. I mean, you can't tell that there's any difference. It's a great way to do it. Now, you probably have some questions about a few things. Uh, first, you might be asking, why didn't I just pull off the dummy or the, the bad tire, this one right here, and replace it with a good one instead of taking the axle out? Well, that would make a boring video. And <laughs> that's what it boils down to, really. But um, I wanted to show you how to do it this way. But that would have been the smarter idea, would have been to pull this off. Although it can be really hard to pull these off while they're on the, uh, the toy still. But that would have been a, uh, a better way to do it. So let's just add a few little details to this guy. I don't want to go overboard like I have in the past. Just a few little things. I'm using a Molto liquid chrome pin. These, these things are pretty awesome. I think 
We'll stop there. There's not really any spots for the uh, tail lights, so I don't gonna. I'm not gonna add them on if there's not a uh, casting area for it. So that is pretty much gonna finish up this little guy. Pretty simple restoration, but it's amazing how not a whole lot of work can make it look a whole lot better. If you remember, this was the before, and now the after, and we are ready to start towing. Here, let, let, let's tow something. Let's tow something. All right. Perfect. So this is going to need a restoration eventually, but uh, man, that looks really good. I like that. It's going to look really good on this channel. Okay, well, thanks for watching through this whole video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I uh, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.